Nested with weather, and Bill Wolverton with sports. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Robinson. And I'm Terry Sullivan. Local Right to Life supporters camped out on the steps of the Northern Illinois Women's Center this morning. They were protesting what they claimed was a heavy schedule of abortions to be performed at that center today. As Keith Mecca reports, many of those protesters were arrested. In all, about 300 pro-lifers gathered in front of the downtown clinic today, a day when 30 abortions were scheduled to take place. In an attempt to place their bodies between the woman who would come to destroy her baby and the doctor who would perform that surgery for profit. The protesters claim the demonstration was non-violent, but the owner of the clinic has a different story. Seven people came up behind me and battered me pushed me through the door, caught my hand in the door. I'm bleeding because of these violent people. My janitor is downtown right now with a police officer. He was battered. He's alleging, uh, and the janitor are both filing battery complaints. And we're conducting an investigation on those charges, and if uh, uh, the circumstances warrant, uh, then the additional charges may be placed on uh, certain protesters. After getting inside the clinic, Protesters blocked the entrance to the first and second floors. Officials say Webster then chained the door shut, trapping the demonstrators inside. Officials removed the chains and started arresting the protesters. This is private property. Uh, they, can't, they, they cannot enter private property. They have to, they have to uh, re uh, maintain their picketing on public property. Police had to literally carry protesters out of the building. They were then placed on buses to go to the public safety building for process. Protest organizers say they'll continue with these demonstrations in the future as long as abortions continue in Rockford. Chief Mecca, 13 Eyewitness News.
from last Friday's march at a Rockford abortion clinic. One of those arrested, Marcia Nyberg, claimed she was dragged down steps, choked, and had her clothing unbuttoned by police. But a pro-life spokesman says the charges of police brutality do not reflect upon the entire department. The police department's internal affairs division is investigating. When we... <laughs> 
more than 70 pro-life demonstrators. Dave? Thanks, Audrey. Almost 200 abortion opponents staged a five-hour demonstration at the Northern Illinois Women's Center. Police arrested dozens of protesters who forced their way into the abortion clinic, blocking the entrance and stairwells. Nearly 150 pro-lifers marched outside the Northern Illinois Women's Center today, while 72 demonstrators staged what's known as an Operation Rescue inside the building. The rescuers forced their way into the building and obstructed stairwells and the entrance to the abortion clinic. They are sacrificing themselves, as far as the law goes, to protect those lives, to put themselves, their bodies, between the woman and the doctor who would perform the abortion. Very nonviolent, very peaceful. They are not bullying. They are instructed not to speak to anyone. All they're doing upstairs is praying and they're singing. A confrontation ensued between the pro-lifers and the building owner when the rescuers entered the building. And each side has accused the other of physical abuse. The owner admits that he'd planned to hose the protesters with a truckload of raw sewage to prevent their entry. But he says he abandoned that tactic. They pushed me. Uh -huh. I was standing in a doorway. I was pushed out of the way. I pushed back. Then seven people jumped me, and like I said, I was the one that was battered. I did not initiate anything. Organizers say today's demonstration was not calculated to coincide with the expected vote by the U.S. Supreme Court today on a key Missouri abortion case, but rather they want to shut down the clinic on what is traditionally its busiest day of the week. Police arrested all 72 pro-lifers who resisted inside of the building. And as they were carted away to the police department on special city buses, the outside demonstrators watched and sang peacefully. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. To make sure no one's injured, we've been using portable chairs. Uh, and we're taking uh, great care to ensure that nobody is injured and that everybody's rights are protected. The clinic's doctor, Richard Ragsdale, says the protesters physically battered two of his female staff members, and he says the disturbance did temporarily halt his business. The protesters who were arrested were charged with criminal trespass to property and resisting arrest, and they were released on notices to appear in Winnebago County Court on May 5th. Sterling Benson, WIFR-TV, Action News.